and gentlemen, welcome to the 2015 spring commencement of the Graduate College of the University of Northern Iowa. Please rise for the graduating students.
President Rood, distinguished platform guests, members of the administration and faculty, graduates of the spring class of 2015, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you welcome to the spring commencement exercises for the Graduate College of the University of Northern Iowa, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Dr. Jean McDonald, professor of music, and the presentation of colors by the University of Northern Iowa ROTC Honor Guard. Still there, oh. 
Please be seated. At this time, I have the honor of introducing to you those members of the platform party who will not be introduced at a later point in these exercises. All those introduced should please remain standing until the introductions have been completed and applause be withheld until all have been introduced. The chair of the graduate faculty, Dr. Melissa Beal, professor from the Department of Communication Studies. Members of the administration of the University of Northern Iowa, Dr. Michael Licari, Interim Provost and Executive Vice President, Dr. Michael Hager, Senior Vice President for Administration and Financial Services, Dr. Terry Hogan, Vice President for Student Affairs, Mr. William Calhoun, Vice President for University Advancement, Dr. Nancy Hill Cobb, Associate Provost for Faculty Affairs, Ms. Mar Mr. Marty Mark, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Farzad Musavi, Dean of the College of Business Administration. Dr. Dwight Watson, Dean of the College of Education. Dr. Brenda Bass, Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Dr. John Fritch, Interim Dean of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. Dr. Kent Johnson, Dean of the Division of Continuing Education and Special Programs. Mr. Christopher Cox, Dean of Rod Library, and Mr. Scott Kettleson, Director of University Relations. <laughs> At these exercises, it has become our pleasant custom to ask a member of the graduating class to deliver an address. Dr. April Chatham Carpenter, Interim Dean of the Graduate College, will introduce this year's speaker. Mr. President, Heather Beatrice Place is graduating with her master's degree from the Post-Secondary Education Student Affairs Program. At UNI, she held an assistantship with the Dean of Students Office and was involved with establishing the LGBT Center on campus. In that work, she coordinated outreach and programming for LGBT students and allies. She chaired the LGBT Advisory and Advocacy Committee and did practicums and work experience with student disability services, student wellness services, and student support services. Her work on diversity issues on the UNI campus earned her the coveted UNI Diversity Matters Award last month. Heather was also very active in other areas on campus as a graduate student. In addition to her work on diversity initiatives, Heather served on the Graduate Student Advisory Board and as a senator with the Northern Iowa Student Government. Thank you, Heather, for making an important impact on the UNI campus. We're happy that you're going out from here to continue helping college students be successful. Please help me welcome Heather Place as our student speaker tonight. Thank you, Dr. Chatham Carpenter, President Rood, members of the platform party, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. It is an honor to be standing here with you tonight. It was very difficult to decide what I wanted to cover in this speech. It was difficult because the University of Northern Iowa has changed my life in so many profound ways. There are almost no words to describe it. But the proof of that change is me standing here in front of you all tonight. If you asked me a couple years ago what one of my biggest fears would be, I would have answered with this exact moment giving a commencement speech. <laughs> but what I have learned over the course of my graduate program is that when you find something you are passionate about, it opens you up to doing things you never dreamed you would be. When I started my graduate program in student affairs, brand new to Cedar Falls, I never anticipated in just two short years how many people would impact my life. I never thought I would find myself willingly coming into the office early just to make sure I had enough time in the day to meet with all the students I had scheduled. I never thought I would be going to their math honors thesis presentations and tuba concerts, 
And I certainly never thought that after two years of balancing graduate school, my assistantship, practicums, job searching, and planning a wedding, that I'd be standing here tonight knowing that I'm honestly going to miss it all. When I look back over the last couple of years, the thing that stands out to me the most is just how full the last couple of years were. Now, I don't mean full as in a sense that they were extremely busy, which they were, but full in the sense of the experiences we had, the connections we built, and the challenges we overcame. It is amazing to me how much we all accomplished during our programs. There were many challenges and long nights spent doing assignments. There were moments that tested our strength and moments that made us feel immense pride in our accomplishments. Regardless of the program we were in, we were all persistent, dedicated, and successful in accomplishing the tasks that got us here tonight. We met people here who became our graduate school family and some of our biggest fans. Look around. I'm sure many of those people are here in the room with us tonight. A cohort friend turned lifelong friend who never judged her ability to procrastinate an assignment. A faculty member who said you could do it all even when you felt it wasn't possible to do the next task. A supervisor who became your graduate school mom. A family member who believed you in you since your first graduation from kindergarten. This moment would not be the same without all of you. In a sense, I hope that the rest of our lives continue to be an awful lot like the time we spent here in graduate school. I hope our lives continue to be full, not necessarily full with research and assignment, but full of similar things that we received in graduate school. I hope we continue to face challenges and that we continue to challenge ourselves. And when we overcome those challenges, which we will, that we find ourselves find feeling the same sense of pride and accomplishment that we feel here today in this moment. I hope we continue to meet people who bring out the best in us and that we strive to bring out the best in others. I hope that we continue to connect with colleagues and we become that same mentor that we found here during the course of our program. I hope that when we go to bed tired, it is because we spent all day doing things that made us feel awake, inspired, passionate, and alive. So, it is my hope that for all of us, at the end of each day, each year, and each chapter in life, we look back and we feel like life was full, much like it was during graduate school. It would not be a commencement speech if I did not share an inspirational quote with all of you tonight. So here is one from Mark Twain that I hope you will take with you after today. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Thank you very much and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the University of Northern Iowa, Dr. William N. Root. Heather, awesome. Thank you so much for your time and commitment in developing and preparing and delivering such a reflective and exciting message for your fellow graduates your friends, your families, and for all of us. Good evening. My apologies for us being a little bit late. Graduation weekend, we need our timing a little better, but we appreciate you waiting for us all the way up to the third balcony. Uh, so we'll get on with it soon and celebrate the graduation. But good evening, all of you, all of our graduates, congratulations, faculty, administrators, regents, family, friends. As was said, I'm Bill Rood, and I have the pleasure of being the 10th president of this great university. Welcome to the 2015 spring commencement exercises for the Graduate College at the University of Northern Iowa. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the hard work by these graduates in their classes, at work, and at home. 
Commencement is a special moment in the life of a university. It is, a it is special for the family and friends who honor our graduates by your attendance. It is special for this university that has a rich and remarkable history. It is very special to the faculty who always put students first and whose commitment to learning, discovery, and engagement has made you and I a prominent center for educational success. Would the faculty please stand and be recognized? And finally, it is even more special for our graduates. Your hard work and commitment to learning is what we honor here today. You have earned the privilege of being here. We know this commencement will be meaningful and memorable, and we thank you for being with us for this wonderful celebration. You may notice that some of our candidates are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords. This honor cord indicates that these students have served, are serving, or will be serving our country following graduation in the military. This recognition is well deserved and we are deeply grateful for their service and bravery as our freedom is not free. Would the students wearing the red, white, and blue honor cords please rise so that we may recognize and honor you. At this time, in addition to honor America, would all veterans in our audience please stand and be recognized for your service to our country. Thank you. We will now proceed to the awarding of degrees. Each graduate will receive a lapel pin from the Graduate College as a symbol of congratulations and best wishes for the future. Dr. April Chatham Carpenter, Interim Dean of the Graduate College, will now present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Education. Those candidates will please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements for their respective degree. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. By virtue of the authority granted by the state of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and, then by, and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant to each of you, as appropriate and qualified, the degree of Doctor of Education with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. The graduates will now be individually recognized as they are hooded, receive diplomas, and are presented with a lapel pin of recognition by the Graduate College. Ms. Greta Berghammer, professor in the Department of Theater, will read the names of the graduates. Doctor of Education, Barbara A. Ehlers. Christine M. Fleming.
Amy K. Lockhart. Andrew K. Martin. Theophil Mo Hahimana. Melissa K. Reed. Dr. April Chetham Carpenter, Interim Dean of the Graduate College, will now present the candidates for the Specialist in Education and Master's Degrees from the College of Business Administration, College of Education, College of Humanities, Arts and Sciences, and the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Those candidates will please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements for their respective degrees. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. By virtue of the authority granted by the state of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant to each of you as appropriate and qualified, the degree of Specialist in Education, Master of Accounting, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Education, Master of Business Administration, Masters of Music, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, and Master of Social Work, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. The graduates will now be individually recognized as they receive their diplomas and are presented with a lapel pin of recognition by the Graduate College. Specialist in Education, Molly Nicole Johansson. Jenny Ann Merck. Jessica Stodden Stummy. 
Jennifer Christine Waterman. From the College of Business Administration, Sydney Marie Bricker. Bruce Bowler. Janelle Lemaya Buckner. Megan Rose Elgersma. Abby K. Feldman. Jonathan Gunner Gold. Christina Ashley Grave. Michelle Joanne Hovinga. Jason William Klein. Kayla Marie Mangridge. James Michael Martin. Andrew J. McArdle. Brittany Amber Murray. Alec William Packer. Jacob Mark Parrington. Justin Wayne Phillips. Nicholas James Reeve. Elizabeth Ann Rodriguez. Alec Smith. Ashley Ann Smith. John Guy Veneer. From the College of Education, Kajo Gavo Ahalaba. Lindsay Rose Aldrich. Rain Lee Allen. Casey Taylor Bannon. Shannon Nicole Betzer. Aaron Dean Blend. Janessa Kaylin Bowley. Jenny Marie Brenner. Kristen Michelle Boltop. Felicia D. Carrillo. Ashley L. Kraft. Christina L. Danielson. Jasmine Marie DeClay. Kristen Reinhardt Downs. Jessica Ann Elliott. Rachel Ann Ellsburn. Leah Renee Embry. Patricia Foster. Anne Elizabeth Funke. Jody Lee Gibbs. Timothy Jacob Gilmore. Janessa May Hageman. Shelley Christine Hartman. Megan Lillian Hansen. Heather Beatrice Place. Elizabeth Diane Hines. Emily Elaine Jensen. Elizabeth Ann Carrot. Rachel K. Kratz. Michelle Marie Cruzy. Nicole Clarissa Lehman. Jessica Lee Malchef. Rebecca Ann Marion. Brandy Jean Moorman. Lori Lynn Netty. Jacob Eugene Rasmussen. Kenneth Alexander Reed. Elise Ann Rogoszewski. Nicole Marie Roddinghouse. Joelle Nicole Rummel. Emily Barnd Severade. Catherine Lynn Shug. Palmer Ross Scott. Audrey Louise Smith. Yeah! Rashad Surrell. Danielle Marie Stubbs. Colleen Mary Sullivan. Megan Eleanor Tresmer. Jessica Ann Euland. Hannah Marie Vaus. Brady Dean Weber. Benjamin Matthew Wood. Jacob Daniel Youngkent. From the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences, Jennifer Ann Akins, Kelly K. Bean, Catherine Elizabeth Bean, 
Laura Elizabeth Carson, Kayla Marie Chestnut, Sarah Gretchen Draffin, Jana May Eckhart, Mahmoud Fikrai Elboko, Joanna Vladika Geffert, Catherine Ann Glesny, Abby Joe Golden, Amanda Aaron Hale, Anna Elizabeth Halverson, Jenna Elizabeth Halverson, Brandon David Schmidt Harrelson, Leslie Lynn Holtkamp, Agung Cristianto, Lindsay Lee Lang, Carrie Marie Lean, Anna Victoria McDowell, Amber Jean Melchert, Mara Nicole Miller, Alicia Viola Mormon, Natalie Marie Nezaba, Nevin M. Nolte, Weiti Honey Lynn Umient, Brian Ross Pauls, Kelly Ann Poshtin, Maureen Ashat Papanyan, Ashley and Marie Richardson, Jennifer Wall Rupp, Sarah Elise Ryerson, Evan Mitchell Shares, Kaylee Janet Singkoffer, Lindsay Marie Strock, Robin Elizabeth Summers, Michael Anthony Taylor, Warren Durad Taylor, Daniela Danai Zorita Valdebenito, Paola Alejandra Zorita Valdebenito, Eric L. Walker, Bailey K. Wedeking, Megan Lynn Wethington, Katie Lynn Youngblood, from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Jacqueline Susan Adair, Mikkel Diane Anding, Emily Bannett, Amy M. Bentley, Emily Catherine Burns, Amy Christine Bessman, Samantha Ray Billing, Molly Ann Bonin, Haley Lynn Brimmer, Elizabeth Victoria Chamberlain, Kelly Ann Donlan, Monica Lynn Ean, Carrie Leon Eilderts, Heather Marie Hackman, Ashley Renee Heffern, Brianna Louise Hendricks, Kayla Joe Hen, Madison Alicia Jackson, Marisol Monroy Duarte, Rachel Elizabeth Meisinger, Adrian Nicole Latour, Ekaterina Sergivna Gorsh, Aaron M. Kanauer, Corina Evelyn Klein, Sarah Catherine Cromer Kayani, Lauren L. Reeder, Elisa A.K. Plunkett, William Leroy Peach, Catherine Ann Parker, Kaylee Joe Nielsen, Margaret Lynn Nervig, Melissa Elizabeth Mormon, Rachel Renee Stensrud, Ashlyn Marie Spies, Chelsea Elizabeth Sensor, Whitney Lynn Shipper, Brock 
Cameron Rosich, Amy Kristen Reckward, Rayanne Lillian Swanson, Megan Lynn Vogt, Kelsey Ann Walter, Christy Ann Wood, Tigistu Sebsibe Wildeyohannes, Michael Joseph Zackert. At this time, please welcome Leslie Prido, Alumni Director and President of the UNI Alumni Association. Thank you. Greetings, distinguished guests, faculty, and parents. Most importantly, all of you graduates. On behalf of more than 110 thousand alumni, welcome into our family. You have earned a graduate degree at the University of Northern Iowa, and you should be proud of this momentous accomplishment. Earning a graduate degree is not easy. Several of you have additional responsibilities, be it work or family. This investment in yourself is one of the most important ones you will ever make. I hope you all are as proud of yourselves as we here at UNI are of you. I'm here to tell you that your relationship does not stop now. No matter how far away your career takes you, the Alumni Association will always be your connection back to the university. Consider getting involved with an alumni club, attending one of our many social events, or even coming back for homecoming. I also encourage you to stay in touch with your fabulous faculty and staff here at UNI. As a UNI graduate, your active participation in the life of the university will help you continue to develop personally, will enhance the value of your degree, and help UNI to new heights. At this time, I'd like to ask all of the alumni, UNI alumni in the audience, to stand and please welcome our newest members of our UNI family. Before I continue, I ask that all the graduates please stand and be recognized once again as a group. Please be seated. Now graduates, why don't you give your family and friends a round of applause for their support and encouragement for your years here. When I first asked our honorary degree recipients to be here with us this weekend, I hoped that they would also like to come home to visit and to what I think is one of the best universities in this region and beyond. You, our graduates, have indeed showed them why I'm so proud of this university and more importantly, why, am I so why I am so proud of each of you. Tonight, in your own respective ways, you have reached yet another milestone in your already successful life. You challenged yourself, you persevered, and met your dream. I know for some of you, those challenges have been formidable. 
whether it was working inside or outside the home, handling parental or other family responsibilities, or just making it to class on those cold and snowy winter days. You did it. In doing so, you exemplify the many aspects of character and integrity that are seen so often here at the University of Northern Iowa. We recently started a new campaign to let people in this region know about our students and their successes. I hope that you have already seen the billboards that feature outstanding students whose stories can serve as inspirations to anyone seeking to further education and know that you and I is the right fit. Winston Churchill said, and I quote, every day you may make progress, every step may be fruitful, yet there will stretch out before you an ever lengthening, ever ascending, ever improving path. You know you will never get to the end of the journey, but this, so far from discouraging, only adds to the joy and the glory of the climb. We talk about scholarship and partnership and leadership and the right fit. We also talk about students like you who are examples of those words and who are succeeding in adding to the joy and glory of that climb. You have, got, you have given of yourself and you have left a little bit of yourself here. You are now part of the legacy. You are you and I. Thank you for allowing you and I to be part of your life and thank you for all you have done for us. At this time, we would like to thank Dr. Ronald Johnson and the students of the UNI Brass and Percussion Ensemble. And ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to attend a reception for all of the graduates and their guests in the lobby immediately following the ceremony. We ask that all graduates and audience members remain in place until after the President's party has left the stage. These commencement exercises being now completed, please rise for the recessional of the President's party. The spring commencement exercises of 2015 for the University of Northern Iowa are now adjourned. Thank you.